Hello everybody, Mike from Star Structure Telescopes. This video is showing the first of our ready to view telescopes, meaning that they include optics, have been fully tested and are 100% ready to view. This particular scope has been configured to a focal length of f3.7, 88.1 inches to be exact, and is being offered with a used primary mirror. The primary is the only thing used on this telescope. Uh, everything else, including the 5-inch quartz secondary, is brand new. Some quick information on the primary mirror. This is a Steve Kennedy primary mirror, again at a focal length of f3.7. The optic is approximately 12 years old, but it's actually been sitting inside my house for almost six years. We use this mirror primarily to test customers' telescopes when they were ordered at a focal length F37. And since we haven't done an F37 in quite a few years, it's just sat with absolutely no viewing time. So the optics are outstanding. The coatings, you can see there's some little blemishes on it. Uh, I have not cleaned this mirror, just took it out of the box after sitting for six years, so I'm sure a lot of that is going to come off. I will clean it before the scope is picked up. Again, the secondary is a brand new Terry Ostahowski quartz 5-inch secondary. Even though the scope has been optimized for this particular optic, both the optic and the telescope can be purchased individually. Also, the telescope can be reconfigured to any focal length faster than f3.7. I mentioned that the scope has been optimized for this particular optic. What that means is, is we adjust the focal point so we hit focus exactly where we want it. In this case, with a paracord type 2 and a 21 ethos, we got about 3 eighths of draw tube remaining from bottoming. Uh, also, the balance of the scope has been optimized for the weight of this optic, and altitude and azimuth movement has been both adjusted again for the weight of the optic. This telescope is being offered with almost all the options that we show on the website. The only two not included is the ladderless assembly system, which can be added upon request, and the custom tail rad riser. As mentioned, the scope has a brand new 5-inch quartz secondary. The spider is already offset, as you can see right there. This has two connections at the end of every vein, making the spider extremely strong. Two inch feather touch focuser. It'll have the Telrad. Scope has 10,000 tick encoders by US Digital. It'll come with a brand new Nexus Pro. Servocat wired hand pad, Servocat go to system. It also has the power ground board. We have the scope being powered off that power supply right now. Have all the switches. It has the Miracell crossbar mod, as you can see right there. It has the Nexus podium, fully integrated wiring. Uh, it also comes with an Astro Systems secondary dew guard, which you can see is wired in. The wire goes up the truss and comes all the way down and connects down here. All the encoders are wired in really clean. Everything is set up for no tool quick removal. You can see the wiring continues up. There's wiring, plugs in. Back there, that connect, completes the connections to the fans. It does have the four corner-mounted fans angled down to the primary. Basically, we set them up so the air not only scrubs the surface, but hits the edge and flows to the back of the mirror. So it's kind of a just surrounding air system to help cool, but mostly it's used only for surface scrubbing. Scope also comes with the UTA hold down bracket option so you can mount the upper assembly to the top of the mirror box for transportation. 
just put in the 17 ethos with a type 1 paracore. Uh, nice thing about F37 focal length is you can get over with the type 1. It's not to say that the type 2 isn't going to optimize a little bit better, but the type 1 is really all you need. If we're comparing to an F3.3, we do have a half inch smaller secondary, a 5 inch as opposed to a 5 and a half. The scope would be about 9 inches taller than an F3.3. So if you don't mind that extra step on the ladder, there's a lot of benefits, in my opinion, to F3.7 over F3.3. So I put in this combination of paracore and eyepiece to give you an idea of balance and how the scope moves. So you can see it's very easily holding this up. The servo cat is disengaged, but the cable is still wrapped around the drive pulley. So it does offer a little bit resistance um, in altitude, but it is, you know, I always try to like push and pull down with the same amount of force. We always want to find the balance somewhere in neutral. So with the heaviest eyepiece, it's going to be a little top heavy. With the lightest eyepiece, it's going to be a little bit top light. The azimuth movement on the scope is just absolutely beautiful. Altitude will obviously move a lot freer than this if you removed the drive cable and then you would really get to feel how smooth it is but it's actually very smooth with the cable uh, wrapped around the pulley for azimuth what i always try and do you can see how the scope just just it's like on roller bearings even though we just use the reinforced uh, the frp the fiberglass reinforced plastic underneath the rocker and teflon but it it just it just glides so uh, one of the tests I do is I try to push the scope and I'm looking to get about 180 degree of rotation out of it. So I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to give it a little swing and then I'm looking for about 180 degrees of rotation. So came out a little bit less, but just so you could see how it just glides to a stop. It's real quick showing here. The scope will come with wheels and handles with our quick disconnect system. The wheels you can see are separate from the handles. Come with those quick remove pins, ServoCat CD to uh, upload the ServoCat Sky program to your laptop. This is the uh, cable if you don't want to use the power ground board, which is shown here from a power supply plugging into the ground board there. We have, we supply this cable that can run right to a battery inside the rocker for remote operation. This pile of uh, cloth, this is the drop off from the light shroud. Uh, as I say to all my customers, this is the only material that I recommend cleaning the flat black surfaces with, just dampened with clean water. So I went ahead and did a false two star and the Nexus DSC Pro. I got the scope drop pretty low so I can do a go to move and you can watch a go to operation. Uh, I'm going to hit the go to button and step back. The scope moves very nicely, smooth. Uh, the auto calibration ensures that the gear ratios are already set up. Uh, the only thing that we don't do with the servo cat is adjust backlash. Now these are the belt driven gear boxes, not the gear driven ones. So they essentially have zero backlash uh, right from the get go. So backlash is left at zero. That's something that we do recommend you look at after about six months of operation. So that's the end of the video offering up this 24 inch F3.7 with a used Steve Kennedy primary mirror. Thanks for watching.